Hi guys, you're welcome to Delare Studios, yet another Android programming tutorial. We'll be looking at unit testing when it comes to Android uh, application. And our major focus will be on Espresso unit testing. Developers are engrossed into writing of codes and have ignored the aspect of writing unit tests for the applications. Espresso unit testing was created out of the box to handle this lag. You know, it's a very powerful testing utility. It's a testing framework designed to provide fluent API for writing concise and reliable UI tests. It helps to create UI tests to an existing app in an interactive way. You now you get to click on run and record the Espresso test. As you make your choice, uh, the test recorder runs your app in a debug mode. As you go through the app, all the records of operations will be who appear on the test recorder window. You know, Espresso unit testing also comes with uh, some limitations. Only a few more common assertions are available. Complex assertions would have to be handled in the code. You know, dealing with delays and async operations in your apps uh, might not be uh, very easy to achieve you know, using the Espresso unit testing. You actually have to dig in deep into the code to actually do that. Our work explained uh, how to set up Expresso unit testing in uh, an application whereby I have an application called Java Developers. I actually uh, use the API from GitHub to get list of uh, Java related developers with uh, APIs or uh, with codes uh, housed in GitHub. They get to list uh, them in a recycler view with their details page. So this is the application and I would like to apply unit testing to this application. You go to the run menu, click on run. If you notice, you have the record Espresso test. And uh, the Espresso test is applicable to Android Studio 2.2 upwards. You know, or if you are using the later edition of Android Studio, you won't have this uh, record Espresso test. So I will employ you to upgrade to the 2.2 series. So you click on Espresso test. And uh, it's actually going to point you on which uh, visual machine as which device is it an emulator or a real device. I'm actually going to test this on a real device. API 7, Android 7, API 24, that's the NoGuard. Click on OK to actually view this application in a debug mode. So we have to exercise patient for that view. Right there, I have my device. And I will be monitoring any uh, display which will be needed in the course of making the unit test of this particular application. So we are having uh, the process debug press. So it actually waited for the debugger to get attached and uh, now we have the application launched right there in my emulator, in my device. If you notice right there from the lock card, you get to notice that the application is working and you can see the record you test uh, this uh, interface is very very important whereby you have the add assertion and the complete recording so on any UI click in the application is actually going to trigger in this particular window so just notice what I'll do a click on the the recycler item of the fort in a row Third. Can you notice the third? Because uh, an array actually starts from zero. So the, this is actually the fourth if you should count by one to three. But with an array, it's going to be the third. So can you notice that a tap on the recycler view with element position three? That is what actually happened. So if I should tap on the share button in this application, can you see that? It's at the top on the action menu, menu item view with content description share. You know, so any click on the UI of your application is actually going to be triggered here. And if you want to, let me click back. Let's go back. Can you see that? A tap on a compact image button with content description navigates up. So now let's add a session to uh, a kind of screenshots of this particular 
application you get to see the screenshot side by side with this interface so we'll click on add a session so it's actually dumping up the ui hierarchy okay so this is the application i'm actually relating with which is actually in a recycler view uh this is the zero index the second the third so i can easily pick on let me pick on a picture to make a session on can you see this that's the cover if you should notice it's calling the com the layer students the java developers with an id of cover so you can actually select if it exists or not so it actually exists and um, once you save the assertion you're going to have the code generated for this particular test uh you can easily click on other aspects probably you want to click on uh the title you know can you see that the text is moyen and that's the title which you can see right there you can actually save this exists or not uh, let me pick on the on the cover and let me save a session so once you save a, a session it's actually going to generate the code and uh, you click on complete uh, recording so what's going to be the test class name of this particular uh, espresso test uh, let's make it main activity test which is the default click on save uh, this app is missing some dependencies for running espresso test would you like to automatically add espresso dependency for this app sure let's add it since uh, the dependencies are not there so it's actually adding the dependencies and uh, also updating the indices now i have a copy of this application on github but i'm not going to actually push the espresso test to that so i'm going to click no and uh, you have the test code which is the main activity test can you see this so there's a test you can get so we actually have it built uh here we go for the test main activity test can you see this so you can actually interact with uh, the code you get from the test uh when the recycler view is being performed uh based on the item click which is the uh, array of index three you see that even the action share uh, was also triggered and they navigate up can you see that so you get to have it uh, as a code which is actually housing the test that you did on this particular application so, so you can actually still dig deeper into other aspects uh, of this particular unit testing and uh, if you as I've said little limitations when it comes to uh, API calls or network uh, activities it might not be suitable uh, using the Expresso unit test you can decide to write uh, uh, the test you know, manually and integrate it right inside this particular uh, main activity test code so this is just the introduction to unit testing in Android try to use Expresso to get uh, all elements in your application fully working thank you very much for now with me throughout this application and throughout this tutorial Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.